my dad played it ever since I can remember. I probably, when I was seven or eight years old, I started singing with my two older sisters. And of course, dad played the fiddle or the delsmore and, and we followed him and we played and sing. Now for 40 years, we followed him with the delsmore. Of course, I played, learned to play the guitar also. And uh, we played and we'd take it around and we'd play all the old gospel songs or all the old ballads of years gone by. Uh, John Mulhey, who was a Cherokee Indian, came back after the Civil War ended and came into the state of Missouri and he made this type of delsmore. It's a three-stringed instrument and he used uh, number eight piano wire for the strings. All three were the same and he used baling wire for frets to go up and down and what you do is take a hardwood stick and note the first string running up and down it to get your music. And then you get either come across the three with the left wing of a wild turkey. And you simply cut the feathers off and that makes you a turkey quill and you use that for your, your second or melody. Or you could just use your thumb. whichever way you chose to do and play. And uh, we followed it. We played all the old uh, tunes, the old fiddle tunes that you go back, 1930 back, and all the ballads and, and gospel songs. And uh, while he was in the war, he got a horse shot off from under him and it broke his right leg. Well, when he got it set, instead of getting it back together, they missed it, see? And that left his right foot about an inch shorter than the other one. So he took horse hooves and put on the shoe to level it back up. But then when he got out, when he made his delsmore, he had a cane like on the end of it and a big nail down here. They'd look down the road coming, and they'd say, well, here comes that old Indian with his walking cane. And he'd come up and he'd play it. So he got the name uh, Indian Walking Cane. Actually, I thought, you know, it would be something that they'd think, oh, yeah. But this is really interesting. It's something different. And it seemed like the young generation is really picking up. They're really enthused about it, at playing. And of course, I'm uh, teaching them the old comedy and gospel and, and uh, type of music, you know, and fiddle tunes. And the more I play it, the more I enjoy it. I go back in time, playing with my dad and my sisters and listening to the songs and helping him on the courses of the songs. Uh, I can go back in time and I can visualize and hear him. A lot of times I can hear him playing and singing while I'm a playing and singing. For me, it means more than anybody would ever know because I know that once they catch on to it and once they get to playing, they'll get the same energetic feelings I have because I already see it started. And I know that this tradition is getting passed on to them.